uh, my recklessness has finally caught up with me. But like I said, we did save like moments before that, so we're good. We just, what, we open this? Yeah, there's only one more gate to flip. Then when we flip this, they're gonna come out. Uh, do I need to go back for more supplies? Mm, I feel like if I budget my skills better, it won't be such a big deal. Well, I guess we'll see, eh? Oh, hey, there's a little, uh, an extra friend over here to watch the fight. Or maybe he's too scared, he can't even look. Okay, so let's be smart about this. Um... Hmm... I'm gonna have a work on that for now. You definitely need to do this first. Uh... Fortunately, most of our setup is free, so we can do that stuff first. Let's get that out of the way. How's that? Version. He's got his resistance up. Rain dance. Hmm. All right then. I see how it is. <sighs> well, at least they didn't kill Ferris because Ferris can like fix that. Um. That's about you. Drop an advanced heal, actually. Uh. We know Eli is kind of the slowest right now. Oh right. Ferris is the one who's to do the reviving. That's okay. That's okay. Lower your resistance. You pick up Lilith. Lilith is revived. Hmm? Jeez, guys. Alright. Eli's gonna, like, be reserving his MP for healing. Uh, you need to do this so you can do your thing with the rain dance. Okay, the resistances are all down. Our mind is. Getting higher. Oh my goodness, guys. Don't double target like that, please. Now let's see. I kind of want Fat T to just swing for the bleachers and try to confuse them with his sword. Uh, yeah. There's still more mind to dole out. This guy will be poisoned. Uh, we're not looking too shabby. You go ahead and attack. You go ahead and attack as well. I want you to cure the toxic... Hopefully this is the last of the rain dance we need. Huh. They hit so hard. Even with all the stuff. It's like, whatever. Okay. I do want to get some defense up while we can. Um... Because it does help. It really does. Especially with how hard they hit. Maybe we'll actually see the thing succeed this time. You know, the, the, you know what I mean when I say the thing, don't you? The, uh, the what's it? <laughs> the withdraw. Please stop failing withdraw. It has not succeeded five times in a row. Oh my god. Right, let's get an advanced heal. Uh, you need to keep attacking. Oh my god, is withdraw actually completely useless? <laughs> I'm trying to do this because, like, keeping Ferris alive is important to keeping everyone else alive because, like, he's the one who can bring other people back, you know? You go ahead and harden in the meantime. I don't actually think Lilith needs any more stiffen. But I haven't exactly been paying close attention to her. I don't know. I don't know. I can cure her headache. Might as well. I want withdraw, it's not failing. It has failed literally every time. And now Ferris is dead already. Well, that's great. Fine, be that way. Uh, I don't want to do that. I just want to attack. Mm. I've got limited MP. Um, well, both of the attacks I would want to use are 20s anyway, aren't they? I guess I could try and go in for the confusion. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to try to confuse Polly now. That would be great if we can manage to confuse him. Because while we're wearing down Nidu, if Polyhell joins our side randomly, that would be great. 165. Uh, of course, it was a critical hit and all, which is, you know, whatever. You better heal her. Uh, maybe you check. Sweet, we got him with both. And Poison doesn't wear off either, so he's going to be taking constant damage. Okay. 
Now let's get an Enigma as well. Oh, he's already confused? Good, then we're safe. <laughs> oh, he shook it right off. That's okay. We'll put it right back on. There, he's confused. <laughs> Holy hell, shook off confusion. <laughs> Just make them fight each other, that's the secret. Confuse him. He's already poisoned. Meep. It's okay. There, we got him confused. <laughs> Just make them damage each other. Uh, can you stop shaking it off? Oof! He's okay. Just defend the man. Huh. I think we'll get him, though. I think we'll get him. This is working. The power of foul gas is turning the tide. In fact, there's already both things. Paul Hill dodged his own attack. I'm like imagining him aiming a punch at his own face, and then he like moves his head to the side as the fist goes through where it was previously. Uh, we look okay. I'm gonna advance heal actually. I don't even know who's confused or not confused right now. Okay, looks like neither of them are confused anymore. Which means I want to hit Holy Elgin. Get him confused again. As soon as possible. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Nidum is out of the picture, but that doesn't mean it isn't good to confuse Polyhill. Because he'll still try to hit himself, is the thing. And in fact, in this way, it's even better because there's, he'll only have one target to hit himself. Not landing the confusion, though. It's just not going. You know what? No, 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 I should be smart. I should continue to be smart about this. I was tempted to go all in and just try to eliminate him, but I don't think that's wise. However, I should keep our health up, because he can hit for a ton of damage if he wants to. And once he starts attacking twice, it's gonna be a real problem. Ooh, there he goes. He's attacking himself. Alright, actually, I'm gonna go for it then. Oh, wait. Do we still have... No, we are completely out of magic. Okay. Oh, if I do this, it's not smart. It's not smart. <laughs> Just keep it. No. Okay, good. We got him. We found a barrel. As this creature's defeated, exiting lockdown mode. Well, there we go. I'm not fighting these guys. <laughs> Goodbye. So we take this barrel. Oh, let's check it out. What's up with the barrel? Where did it go? There it is. Wait a minute, it's a powder keg! So, here we go. We've got like, up. Oh, damn. No, guys, I'm not fighting. I'm not, I don't want to fight you right now. Hey, this barrel fits in here pretty well. You can't mean what I think you do. We're gonna blow down this wall! Is everyone ready? I'm pretty sure I saw a sign somewhere discouraging stuff like this in here. Too late! Three, two, one! Pretty sure there is a warning on one of the walls. It's like, don't use explosives. It's whatever. We did it! God damn. Can we get through the rest of this without needing magic? Probably not. Uh, so this book's here to trick you. You just talk to it over the counter and you can get it. <laughs> so now we're in the, the proper area of the world's most uninspiring castle. And this layout is actually based on uh, the board game Hero Quest, if you're familiar with that. It came out a long time ago. I saw a commercial, uh, like, last year saying it was going to be making a comeback or something. I just realized I need to, like, conserve my memory. As we make our way to the throne room. But yeah, I based the layout of the castle on the layout of that castle. Which, honestly, can have many different layouts because, like, that's how the game is designed. Like, you can choose where the doors go, where the objects go. They have, like, it comes with all these people maps and things. It's a board game, did I mention that? Anyway. Yeah, the, the, the layout of the rooms is basically one-to-one -one with that, and there's just things to connect it together. But for all the interesting potential a castle could have had as a location, uh, I've squandered all of it in this decision, and you just kind of just move through the rooms. <laughs> it's just a big old maze to the end. 
I see that book there. Is there one back here, too? There was. That's an extra mean one. I didn't have the gall to do that twice, did I? Nah, you can't even get past that curtain. There's nothing back here, either. Okay. I can't remember if you can see it's sticking out of there or not. That book I just picked up. Perhaps if you look back, dear viewer, you need to see if there was, like, a bit of the sprite poking out the side of the curtain or something. Because that would have been the only real tell. Oh, whatever. Ow. Stop killing people. Yeah, I get to play this the way I used to back in the day, I'm not using any skills at all. Maybe because I was still in my, like, hoarder phase of RPGs when I first made this game. So I would always just go through all the fights using my basic attacks and nothing else. Sweeties can be loose. And he's stunned, too. And I would only use items if I absolutely had to. This kind of smells. <laughs> it's basically the toilet. Uh, no, no, we can go fight him. Although, honestly, I should be, like, fighting the Nidoking King first so that the Nidorina has more opportunities to evolve. Goodness, maybe I should, like, keep my health up. Jeez, guys. Come on, Nidorino, you know you want to evolve. You don't want to be blue like your buddy there. Well, oh, well. I should probably check to see what kind of helmets we're wearing, too. Because, like, yeah, there's polyrats up here, but most of the monsters are green enemies. And some of us are even weak to green, so it's like, yeah. It wasn't until way later in the card game's lifespan that they decided poison types should also be psychic for whatever reason. I haven't followed the latest trends in the card game, but I've noticed a few of them over the years. Not what I was going to do. We were going to equip green helmets. None of us are even wearing green helmets. None of them. Okay, so only one person cannot. Uh, I don't remember who's weak to green. I guess it's probably Eli because he's Earth. So you're definitely going to need one. And we'll, we'll, you can raise your resistances, actually. So we'll give you guys the green helmets. And then Fatsy can have the white helmet, sure. There we go. Playing smartly instead of stupidly. Look at Nid. Well, not that. There you go. 1A1. Let's gonna move on here. Polyrats. I've never even heard of them. Nidokings. Kings. I have heard of them, but I don't care. You know, I kind of think of it. This area is actually quite threatening for Eli because he's weak to both water and uh, grass. I, is that how that goes? Yeah. Hello, who are you guys? Um, I'm Eli. This is Lilith. Hi. He's Ferris. And that's Fat T. Yo. We came here to rid this castle of monsters. But who are you? Huh? I'm Artemis, Princess of the Castle. You're Artemis? Yeah, what did you expect? Oh, uh, well... That's alright, I get it all the time. I guess people can't get used to a gung-ho princess. So you're here to kill the beasts, huh? Did my dad put you up to this? Uh, no, the Pathfinder did. He just pretended to send us. <sighs> That's my dad for you. Did you see my brother at all? Yeah, he was guarding the desert before he asked us to help. Hmm, since you're here anyway, I guess I could help you out. Sorry, our party's full. I don't want to join you. I'll just hang along and give you advice. I know this castle like the back of my hand. Well, I can't stop. You just do as you please. Fine, then. For starters, the monsters in this castle all answered one really tough one. A leader? Yes, and I happen to know exactly where you can find her. She's in the throne room, but it's kind of tricky to get there from here. It's a girl? What kind of girl could earn the respect of these things? Don't worry about it. Let's get moving, guys. We've got Artemis in tow. It doesn't really mean much. She just kind of exists. She doesn't do anything bad or at all. Blech. Defeat the Nidos. We've had, like, a disturbing lack of polygraphs in our fights. But that's okay. Or is it? I don't remember what Polyrath drops. Every monster drops something. I don't remember what they have. Well, Zamato keeps throwing me off. It's okay, we'll get there. 
There's not that much left of the castle. Artemis is basically the halfway point. Wow, my voice cracked there. That was stupid. Eh. Glad I'm wearing a green helmet now. That would have done more damage. A lot more damage. Let's get out of here. Let's get to move on. Uh, I can't remember if there's actually a book in one of these. Great bunch of books. Wait a minute. Ah, book of pull. There we go. So let's see. Do we have all the things? I know that what's his face has a stronger water gun. I think this is the Polyrath water gun. Oh yeah, because we got it from over the table. So we've got both of those. Uh, did we get both of Nido King's books? I don't know why I'm more worried about this now than I was before. There, there, there's this toxic. There's this thrash. Okay, we've got all the books for now. Then don't gotta worry. All right. Oh, do you like pianos? Tell me when to stop, okay? She can also play the song. Sorry, it's out of tune. Coincidence? Yes, actually. It has nothing to do with the poor gun. Alright, I think I'm over here. There's all these, like, statues. This is such a weird castle, dude. It's so weird. Like this. Oh, what happened to our arboretum? Ah oh, man, we have to wait for these slimy bushes. There are bushes? Yeah, you can barely see them. Can you see them, dear viewer? They're right there. Bushes. This is like an extremely basic navigation puzzle. I'm gonna kill these guys. They're all going to die. Uh, I'm gonna drop on a dance seal. Make sure we stay in good shape. Why wait for things to be a crisis to fix them? Paris has a headache. Nah. Headache cuts your uh, mind stat in half, which is why it lowers your damage up with skills and takes or increases the damage you take from skills. There you go. Those are the words I was trying to convey. Get him! Hard. Destroy. Level up. Gosh, we're coming out of this area at a way lower level than we're supposed to be. Like I said, you're supposed to get about five levels in each area, which means you'd be about level 40 going into the next one, and we're on the very tail end of this, and we're only like 36. We're gonna have an ugly time going forward. I look forward to it. Push me, game. I want to strategize more. <laughs> I welcome the challenge. Ow! Hey, man, that's not cool. I don't like it when the game hears my hubris. I also don't like it when I'm completely out of magic healing items. What's my... I'll have to check what my wallet's looking like after this fight. Let's just see what we can do about our resources, because... This is getting unacceptable! How am I this underprepared for things? Of course, it might not matter so much in the very near future. After this, um... Session. Oh, hold on. Found the switch. You're supposed to check the door to discover you need to, to pull a switch to open it. But anyway, well, looks like it's those guys are in there. Another Nidu and Polly held fight. How will we get through this? It's not locked. Fooled you, huh? No, actually. Not all the way down here. Bleh. I'm not fighting these guys. No. We're gonna, we're gonna open this door now, I do believe. Unlocked it. There we go. Now I've got a shortcut. We don't have to go through the dungeon if we needed to come more straight back here. Which who knows, maybe we will. I don't honestly think we will, because the boss isn't that terrible, but... I'll wait out here. 